Now, as you guys know, I have not been reviewing this series at all. But, you know, I've been keeping up with a lot of these animes for this season. Now, this, for me, after watching this episode, but even before that, I always thought this was the most underrated anime of the season. It's definitely up there with one of the best for this season. It's really good. It's really good, man. I, I, I like this kind of anime. I like the whole premise of the medieval Japan kind of era stuff. Uh, you know, back then, swords were banned. It's not a cliche thing. This, this actually happened back in the day in Japan. Um, I kind of paid attention in history, <laughs> but this is, you know, normally what some animes take the approach for, you know, with the banning of the swords, but they don't take the whole premise just with that. The whole premise of this story so far is that about this Orochi vessel. That's what they've been, that's what they've been focusing on the most for this series. It's only six episodes in, and after watching this, um, yeah, our presumably main character died already. Yeah, you know. I, I would have felt worse. I did feel bad. Don't get me wrong. You know, it was a very sad scene. But for me, you know, to cry, it takes a while. Even though I say in a lot of my videos that I almost cried, that I, I that I, a tear fell down my eye, I over exaggerate. I, it's really hard for an anime to make me cry. As far as I could tell, man, only three animes have made me cry: Clannad, Pokemon, Pokemon. The first movie when Ash into Stone was a very sad scene, man. I was like, I was like eight when I saw that shit. And that shit made me cry like a baby. Yeah, that was sad. But before, you know, in terms of anime, but I was young, so, you know, most likely anything would have made me cry. But I cried for that scene. And thirdly, it was, I honestly, you guys probably won't believe this, is when Gamina died. That, 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 that was sad. I really like Gamina. He was an awesome character. And, ironically, I am feeling, um, Gordon Lagan vibes from this anime. And the reason is, we lost pretty much the most likable character in this series. It's, it's very similar. It really is. When Gamina dies at an early episode, at episode 8, if I remember right. And I'm sorry if you guys didn't know that, but you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen Gurren Lagan. It's a fucking classic. As we see that he dies in his episode, he got hanged. He he was hung. But we know that he was going to die. You know, the whole fucking setup for, for the last, like, three, four episodes was him dying. The death flags on this guy was so obvious. You know, he was sick. He was always catching a cold, he was always in bed, he was always in pain. It was obvious something bad was going to happen to him. You know, death was obviously one of the one of the things that was going to happen. Now, the thing that doesn't really make it more of an impact is because we actually saw this coming a couple of episodes back with Gamina on the case. It happened out of nowhere. It's, boom! He died. Honestly, if he would have just died, like, without us even getting it set up, it would have hurt way more. I would have almost cried because it was sad. You know, the whole setup was really sad too. Don't get me wrong. You know, them with them with the flashbacks, uh, the whole setup of him walking to the to the hangar. I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's completely wrong. I don't know. I don't know what the whole setup of that thing is called. But you know, while he was walking up to his execution, that was very well done. The whole the whole face expressions of every character crying. As sad as it was, it was not enough to make me cry. I did feel sad though. Don't get me wrong. Now, he died. <sighs> he fucking died. He died. Uh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start it over. Alright, he died. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. So, it, 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 I told you, it, was, it, it actually hurt. But, that, so that's why I'm feeling um, Gurren Lagann vibes from this anime. Now, it's up to our second main character. Gurren Lagann was Simon. Um, laughing under the cloud, now it's Oromaru. See, do you not see the, the similarities in this shit? Now it's gonna be up to those two to actually, you know, man up and take over the whole, the whole, um, Gume clan, whatever that thing's called. So it's gonna be up to them. They, they have to step up. We're gonna see major character development in these two characters, especially for Tataru and Soromaru. I see major development for these guys in the future. It's not gonna be fast. I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be up to Sorimu. I think that's his name. The, the chief, the officer in chief, Sose. There's no R. So yeah, Sose is gonna be training him, and I like the fact that Sose actually went up there to see Denka before he passed away. And you know, honestly, man, it's bittersweet. The things he was saying was very bittersweet. He holds he holds a grudge on Gendenka. It's obvious, but he also wants wants remorse. He wants to see him smile again. He loves the guy. He loves the guy. After all, Sose, Denka. I forgot the girl's name, but you know, they grew up together. Their whole dream was 
one dream. They all share the same dream. They wanted to protect people. They entered these, uh, I forgot the fucking officer's name too. I'm sorry guys, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. Because normally when I review something episodically, I remember more stuff. But since I never reviewed this shit, I just, yeah. <laughs> But I forgot the whole squad division thing called what their what their name is. But you know they entered that thing for the same reason. They wanted to protect people. But the whole objective for that thing was to you know stop the Orisa vessel. And I'm pretty sure the reason he left that is because for two reasons. He's uh, the main reason that um, Tenka states is he wanted to protect his brothers. But I think the second reason was that he knew he was a rich vessel. So him being there would just make no fucking sense. Associate was actually saying some rude remarks to Denka, which kind of pissed me off. But you know, I understand. I understand. Don't get me wrong. Um, the thing actually made me like light up more after seeing Sose, because after Sose was seeing those things, I kind of I kind of hated his character. But you know, after the whole hanging thing, you actually see a little panel of him almost crying. I'm pretty sure he cried, but you know, they, they need to make this guy look manly for some reason. I don't know why they keep, they can't show him crying. He obviously cares. And we see everyone's panel, you know, just uh, bawling at especially Jotaro and Sosermaru, they are bawling the most. The scene in which Denka was hugging his brothers, that, that that's the what that's what got me the most. That was really got me the most. Brothers crying on his shoulders. The brother definitely not trying to leave his two little brothers behind, but he has to. He has to do this thing, man. Yeah, it's a very touching moment right there, man. Um and then I forgot what he said. So Romaru said something like, "We are not the only ones that want that need you." And then, like quickly, the the whole shop pans out. Then we see the whole village behind them, supporting him. And they none of them want him to die. None, no, nobody, man. It's so sad. <sighs> Definitely, that moment right there was the best. You know, both those moments, the whole village, and then both Sudaru and Soromaru crying on Denka's shoulders. Definitely a very heartbreaking moment, touching scene, and it was very well executed, man. I'm telling you, this was very well done. We even see Botan, and the, but by the way, with Botan, Botan, you know, I always, I was always suspicious of her character. Gumo, I think that's his name, you know, the guy with the white hair, the assassin guy. Um, he was always, always suspicious of her too. So Botan, we actually get to see her whole story. She's not a bad person. I thought she was. I thought she would be like a backstabber or something. But we see that she was there when they steal away Orochi. Now this is what confuses me the most. How old is this bitch? Is she like a fucking... Oh, who is she? Really? Who the fuck is she? We don't, we know that we've seen her oh, in this episode that she was stopping the Orochi. We saw her steal it away in the first head of the Gumo clan. His name was Kitsimiga. And yeah, that shit happened a long time ago if I recall. It said it happens once every 300 years. So if I estimate it right, this happened 300 years ago, and now we see her. She has an age at all. I don't know. If she has some sort of magic. I don't know what the fuck she is, but she she's old. She has some. She's a sorcerer. She's something. I don't know if there's even magic involved in this anime. But that's definitely a big question on Botan's case. I don't know who Botan is. Uh, she's. I don't know how she does that. I don't know. But we get to see that. But this whole episode is mostly focused around Tenka. Tenka, man. I I'm gonna miss Tenka. That's why I get those. Gorilla gone feels. I am getting those feels, man. He died too soon. We should have seen more of him. He was always funny, man. Those, those flashbacks was funny as fuck, too. When uh, those little kids were picking on Soromaru and Chutaru, and then he shows up saying, Hey, I'm both of these guys' mom, and then we see like half his face with makeup, the other half without makeup. How can you not like this guy, really? I'm gonna miss his character, but I am gonna miss his character. Now, hopefully, that. I'm gonna miss him. Now with theories, obviously with my videos, I always like making theories with this. And as I said before in the beginning of this video that the main premise they're taking with this series is the Orochi Vessel. And I don't think just by hanging Denka, the Orochi Vessel is going to be gone. I do not believe that. They're focusing way too much on this Orochi Vessel. The whole five episodes was based on the Orochi Vessel. So you're telling me just by hanging Denka, it's over? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, man. Now, as we know... This shit happens once every 300 years, you know, this whole fucking calamity. Now, I believe this vessel migrated. I believe it migrated into either Chutaru or Sosomaru. Huh. Now, it's obvious. This could happen, you know. Obviously, how in the hell did he get into Denka in the first place? He migrated. 
he migrates through DNA, through generics, through something, through through generations. He obviously we find out in the, in the series that the only reason that Thinka got it is because the one they sealed it on, they were ancestors. You know, that was his ancestor. So it would not be surprising to me that if it migrated to either Chitaru or Sasamaru. And, you know, that would just add on more to the plot. Because I don't I doubt they're gonna end it right here. So if I had to guess, it would have to be Chutaru. I'd guess it would be Chutaru. He's the one who would have it. And he will try saving his brother and then, you know, try surpassing it. Unless they're gonna do some fucking Naruto kind of shit in which it goes into Sumaru, but then he befriends the guy and then he takes his power. I don't know if it's gonna turn into that, but I do think Chutaru's gonna end up having this this orange vessel in him next. Like I said before, man, this is the most underrated series of this season. It really is. If you guys have not watched it yet, go check it out, man. Do yourself a favor. Watch this awesome anime. Get it noticed. Get it noticed, guys. I love this anime. Um, the Brothers Bond is one of the best bonds I've seen. I love it. Their interactions, but now, you know, one of them's gone, so... I'm sad. I really am. Like, even though I don't cry, it's, it still fucking hurts seeing him die. The whole setup was really beautiful. I love the setup, too, you know, to his death. But as I said before, okay guys, what do you guys think of the series, man? Have you guys been watching this? And, you know, I'm considering doing this episodically. If you want to see that, you know, comment down below. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys. Take care. Be safe. Have an awesome day. Subscribe for my next episode. Take care. Be safe. Leave me thoughts down below, guys. Are you guys sad? Please enjoy it or what? Peace.